person. I just had a man shoot at my car. The 911 call came in just before 7 a.m. yesterday. It gives a play-by-play -play of how the survivor of the alleged road rage incident says things went down. And he started swerving around me. I think he thought I was trying to be a jerk and go around him. I the woman says she had pulled into this Chick-fil-A drive through on Cornell and Reed Hartman Highway to get some breakfast before work. He jerked around me, and then that's when he started calling me names. I didn't even honestly know what I did to him. The woman says she left the restaurant, and the man caught up to her at the next light on Cornell and Kenwood. He stopped at the next stoplight and threatened to shoot me, and then I said, are you serious? Did you just pull a gun on me? He said, yes, I did, and then he proceeded to shoot my car. This was the result. A police photo shows the trajectory of the bullet entering the survivor's car, piercing her seat just inches away from seriously injuring or even killing her. The woman's detailed description of the suspect, his car, and his license plate led police to make an arrest within an hour of the incident at the suspect's home in Fairfield Township. Uh, through the course of the investigation, it was determined that he had attempted to discard the firearm in a drainage ditch type area on Grooms Road. I went right there. I'm like, <laughs> he just told me where it was. And this is the canine unit that found the handgun. Defense charged with tampering, attempted murder, and felonious assault. This is the suspect, 21 year old Noah Winkler, at his arraignment today. His attorney telling the judge his client has no prior arrests. The judge set bail at $250,000. Noah Winkler is due back in court next month. At the Hamilton County Justice Center, this is David Winter reporting. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.